This is a session with a nine month old dog, mixed breed, a lot of different breeds. Owner brought him to me because for a few reasons. The one I'm gonna focus on in this video is play, okay? What is rough play? What is too rough for other dogs? And how do we fix it if your dog plays too rough? So we're just gonna start out on a leash, but he's like basically perfect. So we're gonna take him off the leash and he's gonna play with the prince, right? He looks really good. He's gonna look good most of the session, but you're gonna see these moments of play that is way too rough. Will he grow out of rough play? He might, and he might not. He's a very physical dog, right? He looks great right there. He's a super happy dog. This owner's doing a really good job with him and really committed to him. And he brought him out because he wants to be, he wants him to be a great player. You don't want your like kid to be the kid that other kids don't wanna play with. And you're gonna see moments in this where the other dogs are like, you're too much. Even the other puppies are like, you're too much. They're not gonna check him. Prince is gonna check him right there. Prince is gonna check him right there. Prince is not gonna check him right there for whatever reason. Prince didn't have the leverage or whatever. Now Prince is gonna check in a couple more times. The checks from another dog are the best thing for this dog. Better than checks from us. Look at this. That's, that's where we started to see, that's where I first started to see him be too rough. Right there. He wanted to be up on print. None of it was bad, okay? But it's a little too much up on the back, up over the back of the other dog. And Prince checked him a couple times. The problem, not the problem with him, but the thing is, he's, he's really rough. And so any roughness the other dog does towards him, he's like, yeah, let's do this. Let's, there's a great check right there from Prince. Now Prince is learning like, I've got to match this guy's energy. Now I'm going to show you a really interesting freeze frame. Here it comes right there. What do you think that is? You think that's normal puppy being rough? You think that's the puppy being clumsy? It's neither. It is a headbutt. It is way too hard for this young dog to do to an older dog. Okay, that kind of sums up this dog. He's a great dog. He's going to be a great dog, but he has to learn to calm himself down, to not be dominant, to not be so So here's my, here's my concern, honestly. And I'm really good at re seeing young dogs and then knowing what your gonna, challenges you're gonna have going forward. He's great. He's awesome, dude. Yeah. He's like really, a f he's a very physical dog, yeah. which isn't good or bad. It's just him. We're not gonna change that. I would say the issue is he's still young, He's got no problem. Did you see him run into Prince right there? Yeah. Like, like, it's a hard. It's like that, uh, what is it, uh, chicken or? Chicken, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want him like chicken. Yeah, I don't want him running into no. that. because he does that with me. Like, so if he he want to walk and he'll kind of react to a dog and then, or do that, like he's just doesn't understand like personal boundaries. Yeah, and then you couple that with the physicalness. He doesn't understand it and he doesn't mind the roughness. So he's strong. So. So then all that together, and then the up top of Prince, and then Prince like went up with him and checked him a couple times. I just want Prince to check him a lot of times. And that's not even gonna fix him, but. So I think we can all agree that this young dog likes to play rough, and it's not bad, but it's gonna get a little worse that he likes to play rough. So if other dogs aren't gonna check him, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna deal with it? Here's how we're gonna deal with it. We are going to mark incorrect. You've heard me say it before. We need to mark the incorrect behavior. None of this is incorrect, but there's going to be moments where there's going to be a bite, not a bad bite, but like a bite to the neck or something over the top or something. We need to mark that one behavior because if you think about it, it's happening. His brain is like so focused on the dogs. We need to clap or we need to say hey or something so that he hears us. That's the marker and the correct is to go grab him. And you're gonna see me do it multiple times over the next you know, 10 minutes of this video. And this is what you have to do. You don't want the dog that other dogs don't wanna play with. And you don't want your dog to get older and invite roughness. And what's the most rough thing two dogs can do? Fighting. It's the roughest thing they can do. So if he likes rough play now, he may like fights later. Or the, he's just too rough, the other dog goes at him and you don't want that, right? Up top on it. Again, none of it terrible. It just isn't terrible. But he's young and we've got to stop it now, okay? That's why this guy's here. He 
brought this dog, even though the dog's really good, because he sensed that there was just something a little much about him and he didn't know what to do about it. And so now after this, he knows what to do. Up on the dog, still just normal play, but there's gonna be moments where it's just a little much. And you always have to be careful of younger dogs who wanna get their heads over the top of older dogs, okay? Because when he's older, it's gonna be worse than that. He's young, he should be more like, okay, you're older, you're the boss, you're the man. A lot, if you can see the roughness, they're being rough together and I'm letting it go, but you're gonna to start to see, especially even with these puppies, that's a puppy right there, you're gonna see him be too much for the puppies. They're like, ah, uh, it's, it's, it's too much. That, that dog was barking, so I just kind of stopped him from barking. So just keep watching the play, keep watching what me and then the owner eventually do to stop the play, and at what moment we're gonna stop it. So we're letting, I will also let play go until the other dog doesn't like it. So if it's rough, Okay, it's rough, but the other dog doesn't seem to mind it, so let's let it go. You can let your dog, I get that question all the time, can I let my dog play rough with my other dog at home? And I always say, does your other dog mind it? And they say, no, and I go, then let it go. If your other dog minds it, it's not okay. You have to read the other dog as well. See that, even right there, just going up and just kind of running into the dog with his head sideways. He doesn't mind the roughness, but we need to teach him that it's not okay to be rough. Now it's gonna start to get more rough and physical, okay? And then we're gonna let him know, and I'm gonna go back to s some original audio so that you can hear me say it in real time to, to the owner, okay, in just a minute. So again, nine-month-old dog, he's very up to, he jumps on people, right there. That I should have stopped. Maybe I didn't see it, I don't know. That right there, I should have stopped that. So you see that biting, that nipping? The other dogs are like, you'll start to see them as he comes close, they start to go away. They start to leave, right? This is, this is not good. We have to fix this. Here, it was actually like a grab and like a, like a good two shakes. Then that one was less that I yelled at. Okay. Not shakes like horrible, yeah. but this is something. I can tell you're committed to this dog. Yeah. Like, and so really we need to be fixing these problems now or they're way harder to fix later. So I'm gonna bring up every little thing, whereas in a way you could say he looks great, and he does, but there's these little things that we can't let get any worse. Right, in a way he's just normal nine month old dog. And in a way, in a way, we need to fix these little things. So you saw a little glimpse into it right there. The other dog was like, please stop, and he just kept going, kept going, kept going. I did not mark the behavior, probably because it was just a mashup of, of nuttiness, and so I just wanted to get close and get him, sit him down, calm him down. Now we're gonna let him go again. You're gonna see the owner start to do this. I'm still not letting him go. He was just too worked up in that little frenzy where I had to grab him, so I wanna calm, and he's right back to it. Look at this, and I, I'm sneaking up on him, and he goes back, and I'm ready for it, and then right, I gotta pick the moment I don't like, right there, and I grab him. He's just so kind of out of it that I gotta sneak up and grab him. All right, back to some audio. Hey. Good job. Yeah, you saw that little face bite, right? Bandy. Sit. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're right, you are the boss, you are the man. You're gonna have to learn this. And you're gonna have to do it over and over again. Let's make the verbal cue just say no. I want you to say no, and I want you to clap. Then you're gonna go get him, I'm gonna help you, but we are gonna get him every single time. Okay. This early on, we are not gonna go no and clap and wait till Finn just goes da, 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 and comes back. We are getting you every single time. I don't care if it takes us the rest of the session to get him one time. Okay. Like literally. I don't, care if, I don't care how long it takes us. Yeah. We are gonna let him know that that behavior was incorrect. It's gonna only take us 30 seconds, but that's still 30 seconds. Then he's gonna do it again to that dog. Then we're gonna say no and clap and we're gonna get him again. Then he's gonna do it again. Then we're gonna say no and clap. And we'll do this all day. 
because he has to learn that that's an unacceptable behavior. Sit down. And when when you grab him, by the way, sit. So that is a martingale, by the way. Okay. When you grab him, I do want you to start to, um, uh, for the loose leash walking, I want you to start to not let him pull when you are holding his collar. It's the same behavior. Yeah, okay. It's like, this is, this is a leash, and he just says, I can pull because I want to get to Prince. So I want you to pull him back or touch his butt so it kind of loosens. Then you loosen the leash, okay? Then put him in a sit. But he can never be on a tight leash. Leash. It's the same thing. It's the same behavior. Sit. Okay, we're done asking. Stay. Then do a quick stay. And then a calm release. Okay. And say, go be mean to that guy again. We will do this all day. And when you're nice and you're playing appropriately, we're going to... Um, you can play with friends. Then you don't see that. And then we're going to just le lessen this behavior over and over again. Here, let's walk over here. We don't want to go in the sun, but let's kind of get here. Um, Lily, come on. The best thing is for other dogs to check him. They're the most efficient. Okay, yeah. ready? But now, yep, good job looking. We're just waiting. Oh, and he looked at you. You saw that? Yeah. He was like, I'm going to be rough, but where's that guy? He looked at you or me, I think you. So that's really good. That's what you want. That's what you want. And you'll eventually get that from the no, with the clap is the marker, and the grab. That's what I get ready. Hey! Come on. Calmly walk. Good. Calm. Calm. Kind of call him to you. Good. Tell him, sit. Good job, tell him stay, uh-uh, back in a sit, tell him stay. Okay. Let go for a second, calmly release. Okay. Do you know why I told you to relax the walk? So that it's not scary? Yet? Yeah, he kinda, yeah, and he kinda stopped and was like, I'm not running away anymore, dad, and that's when I was like, relax. Okay. Or if we keep going scary, he may keep running away. So it's, okay. it's a, but that was really good. So in real time, you started to see the dog change. After about five to six, marking and grabbing the dog, up on the driveway, you saw him go into a dog and then kind of stop and look at me or look at the owner. That's what you want to start seeing. Literally after five corrections. I think we, we maybe corrected him five times, marked and grabbed him. And then he started to go up, go to wanting to go to the dog and then go, oh, where's that guy who keeps grabbing me? That's what you want. Literally after five times. If this guy keeps doing this, this dog's going to be fixed. You guys probably have never done this, okay, this clearly. And you saw in real time this dog get significantly better after five corrections that weren't even mean. We're not really even corrections. We're just grabbing the dog, letting him know that behavior is not okay. Don't forget to comment on this video, like, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Okay, that was that. Let's head up.